Right. So has Tom Brady won his last Super Bowl? No, he hasn't won his last Super Bowl. So that means, obviously, he's coming back. I know there's a lot of speculation. Is Tom Brady done? Is Tom Brady finished? Let me just show you something. Uh oh, what you got that for you me? Know I, I, you know what this is? Let's start right there. This is protection, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? I put my mask on. I ain't going to put it on right now because I don't want my makeup on it, but it's a TV 12 mask. Thank you, Tom Brady. <laughs> so let me speak for you, Tom Brady, since I know you so well, since you sent me a mask out the blue. Uh, let's talk about this. That was a nice care package, too. Tom Brady got money, money. <laughs> like, I was like, damn. How much does this cost? This else in it. Shut up. <laughs> she can't throw it and catch it. Here we go. Tom Brady's coming back. Tom Brady's going to win another Super Bowl because Tom Brady, if you start to piece it together, you start to understand who Tom Brady is. Tremendous leader, the GOAT, blah, blah, blah. But no one's perfect. So I've noticed that when Tom Brady is feeling down, when Tom Brady's not feeling the love, when Tom Brady's feeling sick, he wants everybody out there to just kind of give him a little bit of that love. You know how mama comes in the room and you're like, it's 7.30, you're supposed to be dressed, ready to catch the bus to school. And you're like, mommy, I got a tummy ache. And she's like, baby, you got a tummy ache, you okay? No, mommy, it's got tummy ache, okay? Mommy said, okay, we stay home from school today and I take care of you, give you a little soup, all that stuff, great. By 8.30, you feeling fresh to go. By 8.30, you ready to run around the house and mama looking at you like I thought you were sick. That's how Bruce Aaron's gonna look at Tom Brady in about a week. Cause Tom Brady right now, oh, you know, I don't know. I gotta look at this game tape. I gotta look back <laughs> at it. Oh, my tummy hurt. Yeah, he's sick to his stomach cause he didn't have his top two deep threats. One of them just wanted to walk off the field in the third quarter, whatever it may be. The other one got injured. He lost his deep threats. Then he looks at his offensive line. Talking about a mass unit, all beat up up front, sack after sack after sack. And then his top two running backs would come back and play, but still not 100% because they just got back into the lineup. Tom Brady's looking at this right now. Yeah, he's feeling sick. Yeah, he wants to just stay in bed and say, I don't know, I'll figure it out later. But in reality... Just like this, Tom Brady the GOAT will be back and will be winning another Super Bowl. I love it. I hope you're right. I believe you're wrong. Uh, I think Tom Brady has won his last Super Bowl, wow. and it's not so much on Tom Brady, but everybody else around him. Let's mm. look at the missing pieces. Um, the Bucks roster is clearly aging, right? Yeah. Besides Tom Brady getting older, Gronkowski's getting older, Mike Evans is getting up there for a receiver. So the Bucks roster is clearly aging, and we're just talking about the offensive side of the ball. Mm. Dominic and Sue, been in the league for seemingly forever. Mm. Jason Pierre-Paul, boy, he's been through so much, and he's been in the league yeah. for seemingly ever. Yeah. So defensively, the Bucks roster, Levante David got drafted when I got drafted, mm. and I been out the league mm. forever and played for four years. Mm. So the Bucks roster seemingly aging, out of Tom Brady's control, but it will still have an impact on Tom Brady. Your boy, Byron Leftwich, yes. Bucks offensive coordinator, more than likely going to be a head coach next year, Byron Leftwich. Apparently, he's one of the top two candidates for the Jags job. Mm. DC, defensive coordinator for the Bucks, Todd Bowles, he's likely to depart. So now the Bucks might lose both their coordinators, offensive and defensive. You have an aging roster, but here's the real piece nobody's talking about. I no longer think the Bucs will get those hometown discounts. Uh, Their second-best wide receiver, Chris Godwin, uh, was on a franchise tag, y'all. Nothing upsets, and I only say upsets because we're on national television, nothing upsets a NFL player more than getting injured on a franchise tag. Mm -hmm. Because no player ever in life wants to be tagged. You want a long-term deal, you want long-term money. But if your team still doubts you and they put you on a franchise tag, then you get hurt, you've just lost millions of dollars, millions of dollars that you more than likely cannot recoup. So there's that. But then beyond that, here's the deal. Shaq Barrett, the Bucks star pass rusher, 19 and a half sacks in 2019. He signed a hometown discount four year, $72 million deal. Why? Because the Bucks, surely we might win two, three more Super Bowls. Mm. Shaq Barrett's taking $17 million a year home. Meanwhile, Demarcus Lawrence, Cowboys defensive end, taking home 21. Khalil Mack, taking home 23, Bon Miller taking home 19, Frank Clark taking home 21, but Shaq Barrett statistically is better than all of those players over the last three years when he signed his deal. Mm. But he gave the Bucks a hometown discount because he figured the Bucks were going to win chips. Now that you look at the Bucks and say, oh, they might not even win, free agents aren't going to sacrifice money just to go lose. Why are you saying that? I'll win? sacrifice money because if you didn't win it this time around, that I'm y'all didn't even get to the NFC Championship, let alone like win it. Like mm. y'all weren't even one of the final four. Mm. I'm not sell going to sacrifice $24 million, which is what Shaq Barrett sacrificed. Mm. He sacrificed $24 million essentially to win several Super Bowls. Yeah. 
I'm not going to lose money and lose. Yeah. I might lose money or I might lose, but I ain't going to do both. I no longer think that the Bucks get those high top tier free agents at a discount because they're no longer that guarantee that they'll win. Man, but couldn't you put a Band-Aid on this situation and watch it quickly heal? We were injured at the running back position. We were injured and compromised at the receiver position. We were injured at the offensive line position. We're not even going to talk defensively in the injuries we had all year long with the secondary that came back healthy at the right time, but obviously we still fall short. I could put a Band-Aid on that, at least in conversation if I'm Tom Brady, the salesman, mm -hmm. telling everybody, hey, y'all, what y'all saw this year, this was an anomaly in terms of what we're going to be. I would just go out there and trust in Tom Brady. But also, I want to protect the franchise tag. And I know I sound like a company man when I protect the franchise tag. But let's just go through this uh, intellectual exercise together. Are, co are contracts guaranteed in the NFL fully? No, sir, not at all. Not at all. Not right, 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 right. So is the franchise tag, is that money guaranteed? Yes, sir. For oh, one year. Oh, one year. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. okay. So if I get a long-term contract, that's not even guaranteed. It's like Monopoly paper money. Like, yeah, we're going to give you all that. Ooh, Zeke Elliott. Uh, ooh, Mark. Ooh, I don't know about that. We may have a different discussion later, right? So let me just talk about why the franchise tag, to me, would never hurt my feelings, even though it would have felt better in some alternative reality metaverse that I had this big deal. Let me tell you why. Because I look at the money right now at the highest paid position quarterback. Who makes the most? Patrick Mahomes. Who's next? Josh Allen. Dak Prescott, Deshaun Watson. Basically all tremendous quarterbacks. Dak, fringe, if not, shouldn't belong in that conversation. Whatever you want to say. But who made more money than these guys who just signed their deals in the last four years? Dak Prescott. Or Kirk Cousins. Get yep. your, your family. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> And you know he doesn't belong in that discussion in terms of greatness, but he played the franchise tag as it's supposed to be played. It's just interesting that everyone goes out there and we say it like, Ugh, I don't want the franchise tag. But if you don't get hurt and you continue to perform, and I know the NFL is 100% collision sport, injury sport, but damn, that franchise tag gets a bad rap. I'm looking at this situation right now. And Tom Brady, I think your team is getting a bad rap mm -hmm. in this moment. But going forward, oh, all things could be great.